No, bro. No, you tripping, bro. No, uh, bro. You tripping, bro. No, bro. You tripping. You tripping, dude. Hey, Russell, do you want to play hide and seek with me? No, I don't want to play hide and seek with you, Duncan. Now leave me alone. Dude, quit being so lame, bro. Like, can you please play hide and seek with me? Oh my god. I don't want to play hide and seek, Duncan. Please? No. Please. I'm done. I'm done. Ow! Ow, oh, that hurt me so bad. Ah, that hurt. Bro, I literally threw a softball at you, bro. How do you call it that painful? Um, what is going on in here? I was asking Russell. Um, I was asking Russell if he wanted to play hide and seek with me. I mean, whenever he said no, he picked up a ball and he threw it at me, and it hurt my head so bad. What, mom? That is not true. That isn't true, bro. No, he kept bothering me to play hide and seek. And whenever I told him no, I picked up a softball and it literally hit his head. I don't know how he, I don't know why is he saying that is hurting his head, bro. It's literally a softball. It doesn't even hurt him. No, mom, he is lying. He just hit me with the ball. It hurt me really bad. Mom, he is lying. The ball did not hurt his head. It's a softball. How does he call that painful? Because it is. You know what? I want to hear it. Both of you are grounded. What? I'm grounded? You should be grounding him. No. Nuh uh. You should be grounding Duncan, not me. Well, that's just too bad, guys. You both are grounded. But that is unfair. Well, guess what? Life is unfair. Now, both of you think about what you've done. I swear, those kids are driving nuts. It's all your fault, Russell. Oh, it's all your fault.